5,000 meters above sea level at the Nakula sector in Sikkim. There's tension in Ladakh too. China is pushing its expansive claims. It is precarious in Ladakh. Reports say the Chinese military is increasing its troop presence. The Global Times is at it again. It is publishing aggressive and anti-India commentary. A new report claims that both sides are stepping up their guard. There has been some movement at the line of actual control. The PLA has been carrying out large-scale military maneuvers. China excels in deceit. For six weeks, it lied about de-escalating at the Ladakh border. It lied about not wanting a confrontation. It lied about respecting the consensus reached during talks. And now it is twisting the facts about what transpired in the Galwan Valley. China is lying and we have facts to expose it. And that's exactly what we'll do tonight. Five lies of China countered with facts. Lie number one. India crossed the line of actual control. China says Indian troops crossed the border to conduct illegal activities. Wrong. Here are the facts. There were military-level talks on the 6th of June. Both sides reached a consensus. The PLA violated it. China built a temporary structure on the Indian side of the border, somewhere along patrolling point number 14. Reports indicate the structure was a tent. Indian troops destroyed it. They did not cross the line of actual control and they did not violate what was agreed upon. Lie number two, India was provocative. Chinese state media says that India purposely launched provocative attacks against Chinese personnel and that the PLA troops only resorted to quote-unquote physical self-defense measures. Here's the reality. After the Indian side destroyed the illegal Chinese structure, PLA troops returned in big numbers they were prepared for a face-off. They crossed the Galwan River into the Indian side of the border. And this incursion was followed by a physical skirmish, so much for self-defense measures. Lie number three, India is actively seeking a face-off. China says India is building infrastructure to escalate tensions and that India's actions violate China's territorial integrity. Nothing could be farther from the truth. China's reaction shows its nervousness. It has built roads for decades. And now India is building infrastructure on its own side of the border, and China can't take it. It has been objecting to the construction of roads in the Galwan Valley. It is suspicious that India is making attempts to recapture the Aksai Chin region. Well, here's the thing. India is a sovereign country. It can build whatever it wants on its own land, and it owes no explanation to China. Lie number four. India violated the June 6th consensus. China says that India, and I'm quoting, seriously infringed upon the consensus made at the military level talks. That India's actions have harmed the relationship. Now here's the deal. They agreed to disengage and de-escalate. China went back on its word. It did not de-escalate, it still hasn't. For weeks, China, Chinese state media has been releasing videos that show how China is reinforcing its defenses. Videos that look like they're straight out of a war film. What does this messaging from government agencies do to the relationship? The PLA even received China's most powerful howitzers on the 11th of June. The headline is on your screen. This was after the two sides promised to de-escalate. So much for respecting consensus and de-escalation. Lie number five, Indian aggression is intentionally staged. China claims India is no longer satisfied with mere, mere standoffs and that India's actions are aimed at capturing Chinese territory. That India wants to divert domestic pressure due to the rising cases of the Wuhan virus. And listen to this, China is suggesting that India wants to please the United States by doing all this. Well, from the South China Sea to the Ladakh border to the Indian Ocean, it is China that wants to capture territories it does not control. It is China that is not satisfied, it seems. It is China that wants to divert domestic pressure in Hong Kong and Taiwan, not to mention its virus export. It is China that is a subject of global outrage and investigation. If any party needs to please anyone right now, it is the Chinese.